In this video, we'll learn how to make a dish detergent bottle. Most of the shape of this bottle is not very remarkable, except for the fact that the label area is recessed in this area here, and that this recessed step slowly gets shallower and shallower until it simply blends in with the side of the bottle, and then this portion of the bottle completely blends in with the label area without any step whatsoever. So this creates sort of a twisting sort of effect to this part of the bottle. Then this entire face of the bottle, instead of being mirrored, is done as a rotational copy in order to create sort of a helical effect when it's completed. So here we see the label area recessed with respect to the front. Here we can see this step wrapping around, still recessed here, but slowly fading out in this area here. If I turn off the edges, we can appreciate what this shape looks like. I will take this out of real view mode for the rest of the video to make it easier to see. I'll now roll back the feature tree to give an overview of the construction. Overall, the basic shape of the bottle is not very remarkable. It's sort of a bowling pin shape in one view and almost flat in the other view with a little rollover and the cross sections are sort of flattened ovals. In addition to this, a layout has been created to represent the twisted step. From there, it's just a matter of creating the basic bottle shape as a boundary surface, copying the appropriate layout sketches. Here I've just created one quadrant and mirrored it over. And I've gone and split the surfaces in order to get this middle section which will later on be the recessed label. This face has been deleted. The new label surface has been built as a boundary which has some curvature in this plane and a subtle curvature in this direction. This has been trimmed back to create about a uh, gap between this edge and this edge. And a boundary surface is built up to create the step in this area with curvature set to equal curvature both at this edge and this edge to create a sort of automatic fillet here and here. This surface here has been split, this quadrant removed, and yet another boundary has been built to blend this step in to go from this stepped area here to this more blended in zone here. We can see that this just blends right in. Finally, a new boundary has been put in here, which fills this section back in, but continues this step here and then fades out in this area. But this has a little bit of a kink in the surface here. So we're going to split that area out and build a new patch, which blends in a little bit more smoothly. From there, the rest is pretty simple. Everything is knit together. A circular pattern is made. Top and bottom added. Knit to a solid. A dent added to the bottom. And everything shelled out.